can you can you imagine health under a condition where our body's fluids aren't moving? Stagnation and health are mutually exclusive. This is the root of all degenerative disease. People, if we are really interested in reversing the degenerative process, in getting our birthright back, our birthright of health and wellness and vitality, we have to understand this connection between fluids that aren't moving and the disease process. Stagnation is the root of all degenerative disease. It's the birthplace of all disease, and it's all because of this lack of electrical energy that is formed when fluids move. Stagnation means fluids are not moving. Degenerative disease means fluids are not moving. That's what, that's what it means when we say microinflammation is the cause of all disease. That's it. There's 12,000 different diseases, according to the World Health Organization, and all 12,000 different diseases at their core have fluids that aren't moving secondary to an inflammatory process. Fluids that aren't moving secondary to the inflammatory process means cells that are starving, cells that are toxic, and cells that are deprived of oxygen, that is, cells that are suffocating. And because all disease is cell disease, you've now put in a nutshell, wrapped it up with, uh, in a little bow, the cause of all disease. How cool is that? You just heard it on the bright side, no matter what your doctor tells you. Starvation, suffocation, toxification, secondary to stagnation and inflammation. All right, got lots more I want to talk about when it comes to the electrical energy. Uh, the electrical energy of foods. We'll continue this discussion tomorrow. Time to hit our phones. 855 660 4261 is our number. Cord has been holding on a long time. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Cord in Missouri. Can you hear me? <laughs> yes, sir. Welcome to the bright side, buddy. How you doing? Uh, um, I've been a new listener to your uh, program. It's pretty awesome. I listen to Dr. Gordon and uh, Dr. Wallace, so cool. I guess you'd be num- number three. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but uh, I actually have three questions, so I'll be sure. brief. My first one's over calcium. Okay. Because um, I definitely know that young Jody's calcium is really absorbable, and that's what okay. you want to look forward to whenever okay. you're getting calcium. But, you know, like if you're shopping around online, you know, calcium, there's, there's so many varieties. You know, there's calcium carbonate, calcium uh, lactate, calcium. Okay. Uh, uh, we'll give you the rundown on cal- we'll, I'll give you the whole rundown on calcium. It's a great question. What are your other two questions, Court? Uh, the other one's about, uh, I don't know if you know about a whole lot about foods, but the, the next one's about ginger roots. And I do okay. take, uh, I do listen to your, your, your advice, and I take, uh, I drink smoothies every day. Okay. And um, I also just chop up some fresh ginger roots from the store. Okay. And I read somewhere online that uh, it's kind of weird, but that ginger root can inhibit the absorption of fat soluble vitamins. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure how that would work. What's your third question, buddy? And the third one's over uh, uh, thinning hair. Uh, I've heard that like um, nettle root, nettle root, and nettle leaf can help. I don't know if stop the hair loss or help grow it back. I don't know if you know anything about that. I, you know, let, let me take those questions one at a time. First of all, calcium is a very tricky substance. It's very, very important. I don't mean to underestimate uh, the importance of calcium. Maybe the single most important mineral in the body, arguably, anyway. It's got lots of roles to play, but at the same time, you want to be very careful about how you supplement with calcium. Calcium and all mineral absorption requires a, a functioning fat absorption system given that one out of three Americans is dealing with some kind of fat malabsorption problem, if you don't take your calcium in the correct form, if you don't address digestive issues, and if you don't use cofactors with that calcium, that calcium may not get absorbed in calcification of tissue, where tissue actually absorbs calcium or where calcium deposits in tissue, can be a leading cause of death. Calcification of the heart, calcification of the brain, calcification of the kidneys, calcification of the soft tissues in the body is a big problem. So you want to be very, very respectful full of calcium. As always, with all minerals, the best way to get your minerals is going to be in foods. And this is especially true about calcium, which is such a tricky mineral to absorb. Uh, Green leafy vegetables are a great source of calcium. Spirulina has a little bit of calcium in it. Sprouts have a little bit of calcium in it. Uh, The reason why you want to uh, focus on food-based calcium is because calcium requires magnesium for its absorption. It requires vitamin K for its absorption as well. And you'll get these uh, vitamin K and you'll get uh, magnesium in a lot of natural foods 
foods, the, the green leafy vegetables, and the, the, uh, the veggies that contain the calcium. So first and foremost, the best way to get your calcium is going to be from veggies, green leafy veggies. Everybody knows about milk for getting their calcium, but what do you think the, the cows get the calcium to put in the milk? They get it from the grass. Grass is a wonderful source of calcium. In fact, grass is a wonderful source of a lot of nutrients, and it's too bad that we don't have the digestive systems to eat grass because there's tons of nutritional value in all kinds of grasses, as you would expect if you've been listening to the last couple of uh, bright side episodes, the electrical nature of food is so important, and grass is mega, mega electrically active. So, number one, when it comes to calcium, best source is going to be veggies, green leafy veggies, cabbage, um, kale, kohlrabi, broccoli. All of these are good sources of calcium. Sprouts are also good sources of calcium. Second thing about calcium is when you take your calcium supplements, take your calcium supplements with magnesium, and take your calcium supplements with vitamin K, and take your calcium supplements with tools for improving fat absorption. Make sure you're using bile salts. Make sure you're using this is especially if you have a, a problem with uh, with fat absorption make sure you're using your digestive enzymes and take your calcium with fatty meals if you have a, a real big problem with fat malabsorption you're going to want to take your calcium as well as your other minerals with lecithin as well so it wouldn't hurt us all to do this at the end of meals use your calcium you use your magnesium use your essential fatty acids use your fatty vitamins at the ends of fatty me- at the end of fatty meals and then take uh, all of these supplements with digestive enzymes enzymes with apple cider vinegar as well as a little bit of less than especially if you're dealing with fat malabsorption issues a couple days or actually a couple weeks ago there's an article that was uh, I forgot where it came out on but it was, it was all over the news here in Denver uh, here in Colorado on the problems with calcium uh, calcium supplementation hang tight because I'll tell you what I mean when we come back from our break I'm pharmacist Ben you're listening to the bright side on the Genesis communication network if you want to learn more about the longevity products or if you want to join the bright side Ben team head over to bright side Ben.com and click on the Join the Team link in the upper left-hand corner of the page. We're coming back at you with more good health information right after this. Don't go away. Hi, I'm Dr. Joel Wallach, veterinarian and naturopathic physician. The Dead Doctors Don't Lie guy with an important message. Take charge of your health. Do not continue to blindly follow the system that has failed us all. I appreciate GCN listeners because you're open-minded and intelligent. If our system is so great, why is it that the United States, the USA, ranks nearly 60th worldwide in longevity and number one in obesity? All the while, we spend more money than all the other countries combined annually on unnecessary health care procedures and toxic drugs. It doesn't take much to get on track, not with the government or pharmaceutical companies, but rather you in control of your own health with a basic understanding of nutrition and supplementation. FDI Longevity has the finest quality health, sports, and energy supplements available. GCN listeners are invited to join our team of people who want to stay healthy well into old age. We are currently looking for specialists to represent FDI Longevity and save America. To buy products at wholesale prices or join our business team, go to GCNteam.com. That's GCNteam.com. Support GCN. Get healthy. So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curb appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. Stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone. At 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number, 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy and get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HDTV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional and installation.
situation. You control what you watch when you watch it. Record your favorite shows. Pause and rewind live TV. Even skip the commercials. Watch local channels, too. At just $19.99, what are you waiting for? Pull out your major credit or debit card. Call 1-855-905-MYTV. 1-855-905-MYTV. Say goodbye to the cable guy. Cut costs and get more. 1-855-905-MYTV. 1-855-905-MYTV. It's hard to imagine when things are going reasonably well, just how quickly things can change. But what would it take? Economic collapse? Massive crop failure? Chemical or biological attack? So many situations could find you in the grocery looking to pick up food for your family only to find that the shelves are empty. There's nothing. Don't let that happen. Act today to make sure that if it ever comes to that, you and your family will be provided for. Visit FreezeDryGuy.com to look at the wide variety of survival foods available. Freeze-dried foods from the Freeze-Dry Guy store longer, rehydrate faster, are nutritionally superior to, and taste better than any other long-term storage food available. Visit FreezeDryGuy.com or call toll-free 866 404 FreezeDryGuy.com The nation's largest independently owned and operated talk radio network. The Genesis Communications Network. GCN. All right, we're talking to Cord in Missouri uh, about calcium and ginger. Uh, calcium supplements lead to heart disease. This was an article that came out a couple of weeks ago. I'm reading it off of Medical News Today. Men who take calcium supplements are more likely to die of heart disease than those who do not take supplements. You say, what the heck is going on? I thought calcium was so good for me. Now it's associated with heart disease. Well, the problem with calcium is its absorption. Minerals in general are very difficult for the body to absorb. Go dig out some rocks from your garden, drop them in water, and, and see what happens to the rocks. They don't go into the solution. They sink to the bottom because rocks don't absorb. And calcium from uh, rock forms, uh, calcium carbonate, for example, limestone kind of calcium isn't going to absorb either, or at least very, it'll be absorbed very uh, poorly. That's why calcium is such a tricky mineral. In fact, all minerals are tricky for the body to handle, and mineral supplementation is something you want to be very, very careful of. Now, there's two main kinds of minerals, three main kinds of minerals, really. You've got macro minerals, minerals that your body needs in large amounts, like calcium, like magnesium, um, minerals that your body needs in, in gram amounts, really. And then there's uh, micro minerals, minerals that your body needs in microgram amounts, things like selenium and zinc, for example. And then there's the super-duper trace minerals, the kind of minerals that you'll find in the plant-derived minerals from longevity, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine products like that, the Ultimate Classic, etc. So you've got three main kinds of minerals. The problem with minerals is not so much in the, in the seleniums and the zincs and the trace minerals, but it's in the macro minerals because when these things are taken in large quantities and they're not absorbed, they can deposit in the kidneys and the brain and the soft tissue of the body and the heart, and they can indeed be associated with calcification and un- un- timely demise, as all of these articles that came out a couple of weeks ago are pointing out to. What do you do? Well, number one, get your calcium and your magnesium as much as you can, your macro minerals, your potassium, your sodium, your chloride, etc., from foods. This is the importance of living live foods, which tend to be rich in easy-to-absorb minerals. Secondly, use colloidal minerals or use chelated minerals. Use minerals that have, uh, have, had their, uh, have been manipulated so they're easier to absorb. In the case of colloidal minerals, it's actually plants that have done the manipulation. In the case, in the case of chelated minerals, they've uh, been manipulated in a factory, but the point is they're easier for the body to absorb. Look, look for colloidal minerals and look for chelated minerals, the most poorly absorbed minerals are going to be uh, uh, minerals like calcium carbonate, these salt form minerals is technically what they're called. So if you're going to use these kind of minerals, if you're going to use any kind of calcium supplements or or magnesium supplements, take them with food, take them with bile salts. Uh, Calcium in particular, you want to make sure that you're getting vitamin K. Now we haven't talked a lot about vitamin K, but it's mega, mega important. It's made by bacteria in the gut. If you have any digestive problems, chances are you're going to be dealing with a vitamin K deficiency. And without vitamin K, it makes it much, di- much more difficult for your body to process and handle calcium. So it's probably not a bad idea to make sure you're getting 5,000 uh, micrograms or so of, cal- of a vitamin K every day, especially with your calcium. 
so much to talk about when it comes to calcium and, and mineral supplementation, but I hope that answers uh, your question about the different forms of calcium. Uh, and as far as your ginger root question, ginger is a wonderful uh, herb. It's great for appetite suppression. I'm sorry, it's great for appetite stimulation. It is great for uh, nausea and vomiting. Uh, ginger has been shown to thin the blood for folks who are dealing with blood clotting. Sometimes doctors will t- tell you not to use ginger before surgery the same way they tell you not to use vitamin E and essential fatty acids before surgery. I have heard about iron, uh, ginger interfering with iron absorption, and, uh, and you're telling me about ginger and fat malabsorption 